Komt ze skegen, eentje keer, een conversation, what we gonna do, we gon' talk to skater, ain't gon' be no hater, it's gon' be chill, cause you know I keep it true. The way you respond to the stuff is like, I know I'm not the only one having these moments, it's just like nobody else is comfortable saying that they have weird moments, you know? Bro, but there's a couple things I got to say about that. Personally, I think that your page is, like, amazing, and it's a gift to skating, and it's needed. Dude. And nobody else is saying that shit the <laughs> way that you, you say that shit. Thank and you. it really helps me look at skating in a different way. And honestly, your page has changed the way that I skate and want to skate. I'm just like, yo, like, the other day I realized through watching your page, I was just like, man, like, I started thinking about, quad skaters in the 70s like where it was just all dancing and skating rinks and and like how fire that is but on a whole yeah. different page and realizing that like right now in time rollerblading is starting to like make the space in between the tricks the dance instead of just pump into the next trick and pump into the next trick and i'm like yo anybody who hates on that like i get it like shit i quit in like oh two and i just came back like but i did the same bro. thing i quit and i like skateboarded for two years bro like it wasn't very good but like i was just like over rollerblading and the whole thing and everything about it like i was dark on it like and then i realized like rollerblading is the actually the most ill shit ever but no one talks about the shit that makes it ill to me i'm just gonna go hard at that and not care what anyone says and then see what people say and then and it turns out like there are people like me who like yeah bro skating is dope for these reasons all i do is show love and like it's so much cooler to show love to people doing things like yeah. isn't there enough hate and rollerblading like we're the most hateful bro. community ever <laughs> i've heard a couple things just i mean because we have so many different outlets now that we didn't have back then just to yeah. talk and i've heard like people like skate club comes up and sometimes people are stoked and sometimes they hate a little bit and the couple times I've heard people hate, I'm like, you know, I don't really, like, I wish I didn't hear you on this pod because I like your skating, but hearing you say that shit, I'm like, if you're out there, like, if anybody's out there loving basement videos, but they're hating on your page, then they're just confused. You're, like, putting the words to what, like, a basement clip is, you know? Like, you take that Kelso buttery where you're just sitting there, like, how did it ever become this dope? And then you put words on it. Like, you get it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I'm nice. Like, I'm a dance hall DJ and like a hip hop DJ, and I had a bunch of people around me playing like you were playing reggae, and now you're playing all this like hypersexualized music, like thinking I'm a hypocrite or some shit. And I'm out here like, yo, if there's one thing that pretty much all humanity can agree on, there's probably only one thing, and that's that sex is fucking dope. Oh. And so like the people who are like, <laughs> the people who are like. Yo, you can't, why are you calling this sex? Immediately when I saw that, I was like, yo, that's sex. That's right. Because, like, my dance hall brain kicked in, all my shit. Could... It and... makes so much sense for yeah, life. Man. For not just skating, bro. For things in life, it makes yeah, sense. Like, how are we going to all love this thing and then be like, but it doesn't make sense to use that word to describe other things that are as good as that? <laughs> it goes back to, like, people have their conditioning, yo. Everybody loves sex, but most people are afraid to admit it. And your page is like the skate page that's like, I'm not afraid to admit that this shit is sex. And that's why as soon as I saw that, I was like, yo, that, that terminology, like, it's not to be used lightly, you know? Can't call, like, some regular-ass shit sex, you know? But when it's, when it's really that, it's that, you know? And, like, I feel like peop the people who can see it, see it. Some oh, my might come around. God. It some has never are, been said like, better than what you just said, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this. Lava Dreams, hi. hi. Yo. Uh, yeah, and so if that. anybody there got six, seven, some nice skates for my best friend Lava Dreams, it would be nice. Let's get her on these skates. I'm saying. What are you skating <laughs> right now? Um, I've been skating the Shima reissue. And How is it? Uh, I fucking love it, bro. Like, I went through a lot of skates just trying to find one that fit right. And I got like this weird ass bunion on the knuckle of my pinky toe from skating. Brain and soul and shit. Yeah, like, exactly. Those top fresh. side tricks just oh, put the that pressure. Oh, that hurts, man. bro. I'm back around so much. It's just, it sets on there a little nicer, you know?
sometimes if it hurts bad, I just got to work on tricks that are with the other foot, like a front full yeah. torque. Or I'm trying to learn front torques right now. I've been landing some, but man, like the bruises the I've gotten. Yeah, bro, you got to pull it from a trick you gotta, like that. In a long you got to put that leg up there where it's yep. supposed to be, and that's in that, that you use it. You <laughs> you go and forward. I'm from Philly, so it's like no matter how many times I landed, it doesn't count until I can grab it. You, you know. Hey, you, are, you already <laughs> like, know how it goes, bro. You even if I know. like how it looks freestyle too, it's like, but I gotta grab you know, it. If I you know how it goes, trick, bro. It's, you know? yeah. That's how like, the OGs know, bro. Certain things you shouldn't change. And happens. there's certain things like if it's a negative macchio, I'd rather you didn't grab that shit unless you yes. really sex that shit out. Exactly. You know? Just but, put it in the put it in the space. You know. Yeah, it's some it's like to be. it's some fucking karate kid shit. You know, I'm not yeah. like. Daniel sound on the fucking post shit when you're doing a real <laughs> negative mark. I mean, it's hard to get out of that Philly conditioning. And it's funny being out here in Cali. Shout out to the homies who I skate with up here. I've seen some of them popping in here. Yes. And we're all, you know, we're all in our early mid thirties, like getting back to it. Some have been back at it longer than others. And, you know, they always look at me to be like, yo, did that count? And like, I try to be honest, like, you got it. Hey. I'm like, you know what, bro? That shit fucking counted. Fuck all the bullshit. But other times I'm like, you know, I really, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta say it, bro. And like, if yeah. him, when we came in, we and when he first met me, bro, he was doing like flips. If you can't soul grind Royale, Mafio, why are you flipping, bro? Stop flip. Like, not, <laughs> like we gotta learn how to skate, man. Yeah. Like, but he took it and like now my dude is killing. Like now he's hitting Impalas, Garnet, Soul, Scott Flow. Like dude is going wild. But some people, you know, if they if you say that to them, they get mad and leave the skate park or something. You know, like can't tell everybody that they're they could get better. Like not not every skater can handle you saying like you gotta jump two feet, you know, like step on, don't count. Like, yeah, I get yeah. that you did it, but like if you step on, bro, it's just not the trick. It just it doesn't count. Well, regardless of how cool it looks, it's like, no, nah, bro, like you gotta jump when you back torque. And you know you got to put the, both feet at the same time. You can't step off the ground, you know? Yeah, unless you're trying to do some, like, gnarly new school shit where you, like, do a slow <laughs> step. Like, some of that. Yeah. I, I, I like, fish guys for it. Yeah. The, the, everybody else be trying to do a, a, a Mafia or Mizzou. And then <laughs> even I've seen people doing, like, Mizzou soul grinds, you know? like yeah, I try not to let it get to me. <laughs> but even when like I'm skating with the homies, like I mean, I'll be happy for them if they land any switch up that they wanted to land. But if it's a budget, I'm probably not gonna like <laughs> laugh about it or anything. Like, you can, you and I try. To... I always bring it up, but like in a nice way because it's like we're all just out here, you know. And yeah, like I'm glad you're love, skating. Yeah, and we're all just like getting our skills back in various levels. So I love to see people like thinking about something and then doing it. But yeah, like doing a Mizzou to Soul like hurts my heart a little bit. If you're gonna do a budget, you at least gotta like do one of those heady budgets where you like step it, over with the soul it's, foot. It's heavy, yes, yes. You know, like there, yes. if you do like a really steezy back farf to top porn budget, that's, and you just step over and keep the torque foot on, that shit can yes. be fire, you know? Yes, it's, oh my, you just, Bro, you get it. Like, yes, bro. We have to hang out, bro. This is going to happen. <laughs> like, bro, bro, that's why I tuned in. I'm like, yo. I, I sent it a couple of things to other people, and they declined it. You know people get weird. So thanks for owning the man. You're like one of those, like, close homies who I never met yet, you know? Like, I see your shit, and I'm like, I feel like I know this guy. And, yeah. I, like, on a musician level, like, I really appreciate where you're coming from with that shit, like. I'm a songwriter, I play multiple instruments, I'm a lyricist, I'm really serious about bars, like, like I, I, won't, I won't even write it unless I think it's on the level with the greats, even though no one will ever say that but me kind of thing. And like, Mirror, bro. we should talk about like sometime in bass for like 20 years. So if you want any sort of uh bro yes uh, that was my collab, first instrument and production yeah. i make beats me and lava drinks produce stuff we need yeah all the time bro yeah. Uh, yeah if you had one thing to say to the skaters as a skater what would you say and then i will end it all right i appreciate that bro thank you for 
give me the floor for a second. Yeah. Uh, all right. So talking as one of those people who was out for fucking 15 years and came back. Skating is amazing. Rollerblading is the most fun thing in the world for those, the ones who feel that. But the thing that hit me the most is the fucking culture. And the fact that those of us who, whether you're a newcomer or someone who was there, like in the golden age and the golden era, which we might be coming up on another one, who knows, but the story's not over. Like this culture is really fucking special. Like the fact that this culture never became a mainstream thing and it just got pushed further and further underground. Like all that we have is fire and passion and love for this, whatever you want to call it. I barely even think of it as a sport. To me, it's like Art forms, artistic yeah. depression. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. But like, we're all here together. Like, I know that this is one big global family of people. Yeah, it might just be rollerblading, it might just be strapping wheels on our feet. And like, to people on the outside who don't do that, it looks like we're just, you know, being kids obsessed with some shit. But there's some really deep meaning in this shit and we do have a family and we do have support and sometimes there's disagreements within the family but you know you don't have you can to talk love about it. it yeah it's like you don't have to love everybody but we can work shit out and we can make yeah. this thing like you can respect already, everybody yeah like between all the things that came up with us between biking skateboarding all that shit like they're all gone they're in the mainstream they you know they don't really have control over what their shit looks like anymore you know, but we, we are in control over rollerblading and we've got yeah. some really amazing people like sis, you know, shout out like basement, like the boys out West who just put out that up to no good. Like what was that one that just came out like yesterday? That was crazy. Uh, uh, monster blade thing. Yeah, bro. Like all these people who are just representing and putting on for rollerblading. Yeah. Nobody's getting paid. We're all in it for the love. Even the one, you know, Nils Jensen's barely affording his yeah. apartment, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's appreciate this shit for what it is because I left rollerblading, but bro rollerblading never left me. Oh, That's right. the thing that makes me care so much now that I'm back. For me to see it this way, I had to be without it for a while. And, oh, like, right. bro, I was depressed. Respect I've been through shit, bro. Like, my life has not been easy. And since I started skating again, things have clicked. And like, I've reconnected with old family where I'm like, why did we ever fall out? Like made a bunch of new family. For the people hating on the new shit, go watch some videos from 1999 and see if you don't get bored after the third video. And then watch three videos from like last year and see if you don't get bored. Cause to me, this fucking garnish life, this sex life, this shit is what keep, is going to keep rollerblading not only alive, but keep the people who don't care about it interested in it. Because you show someone, like the general person who doesn't watch rollerblading, like a grind might not catch them as much as that little like sauce on the fucking flat ground. Like that's something that anybody can see. And Oh, and then you pay attention to the other stuff. Exactly. It can be a gateway. It's a new gateway for people to like get into the sport or the culture that weren't. And I do agree that we need as many people coming in as we can get. But yo, man. All right, that, yeah. you guys, you got a mic. You got to drop the mic right there. You can't say no more. Y'all can receive what my man just said. DJ Real Youth. It's your boy Young on my in the building, and uh, we got peace and blessings, bro.